Ya'juj and Ma'juj are mentioned only twice in the Quran. Where do Ya'juj and Ma'juj, or what was their story? Dhul Qarnayn block them up. Dhul Qarnayn trap them. And Allah says, we have left them in this trap. And they are so many in quantity, it's as if they're like wasps, like bees, like bugs, like swarming over one another. What do we know from the ahadith? Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam warned us of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. And one night he awoke frightened. And his wives asked him, what is the matter Ya Rasulullah? So he said, woe to the Arabs from the, uh, from the dam of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. There has opened up a small hole the size of this. And he made a round circle with his forefinger and his thumb. So he said, for the first time, this much of a hole has been opened up. And I am worried now that the evil is near. Ya'juj and Ma'juj, the impending doom is near. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came up amongst the Sahaba. And the Sahaba were talking and they seemed very scared. So he said, Ma sha'nukum, what is the matter with you? So they said, Ya Rasulullah, tadhakarna sa'a. O Messenger of Allah, we talked about the Day of Judgment and we became scared of the Day of Judgment. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, count 10 things that will happen before the Day of Judgment. These 10 signs are, are called the major signs of the Day of Judgment. Before these 10 are many, many what are called Ashrat al-Sa'at al-Sughra, minor signs of the Day of Judgment. Was that if you look at the minor signs, pretty much all of them have occurred, one after the other. If you look at the minor signs of the Day of Judgment, the Prophet ﷺ predicted things that were absolutely surreal for his time and place. Unbelievable. He is telling the Arabs, of, the Muslims of Mecca when they're being persecuted, he is telling them, you are impatient and, and hasty. He said, you are going to conquer uh, Bilad al-Sham. You're going to conquer Bilad al-Sham. You're going to conquer uh, Damascus. You're going to conquer Jerusalem. He also predicted Fahisha. Fahisha, the ludity, lewdness, nudity will become prevalent. And this is the reality of our times. Count 10 things. Number one. The, the coming of the Jal and the descent of Isa. Number two is the descent of Isa. And the Jal will cause fitna and fasad like the world has never seen. Then Isa ibn Maryam will come. And Isa will kill him at Bab al -Lud. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Isa will then gather all of his followers and Allah will tell him that there is now coming a group your followers have no power to fight them. So flee to the mountains. They are Ya'juj and Ma'juj. He said that uh, their faces are sigar al ayun. They have small eyes. So the descriptions that he gave have led many of the earlier Muslims to think that they are a race of the uh, people of the Far East. And Allah knows best. And he said that their clothing is made out of wool or fur. And this is something also a hallmark of the people of the Far East. And uh, he said that their quantity will be so much that they will pass by uh, the river in Tabariya, which is one of the famous the, the, the lakes of that land. When the first of them pass by, they will begin drinking. By the time the last batch of theirs passes by, they will say there used to be water in this lake. And Ya'juj and Ma'juj will conquer the world. They will cause fitna and fasad. And they will kill everyone. Until finally they will say, we have killed the inhabitants of the world. They don't know that Isa is hiding with his followers. We have killed the inhabitants of the world. Let us now kill the inhabitants of the skies, meaning the angels. And they will take their arrows and they will start shooting into the air. And Allah Azza wa Jal will cause their arrows to return with blood on them to give them the assumption that they have genuinely killed everyone. And then Isa alayhi salam will make a dua to get rid of them. And so Allah will send a disease according to this hadith and this disease will inflict them in the neck and will cause them to fall dead right then and there. And the earth will stench up with their corpses. And the Prophet sallam said, the animals will fatten up eating their bodies. But Isa and his followers will not bear the stench. So they will make dua to Allah. Allah will send birds and Allah will pick up or cause these bodies to be picked up and throw them far away. And then Isa will come down with his followers. And this will be the very final time Muslims are on earth. And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there will be nothing but happiness and joy. There will be no baghda, no adawa, no hatred. No two people will fight. The sheep will play with the wolves, the snake will play with the children. This is that time. This is after Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Towards the very end of times, that will be the glorious time of humanity really on this earth. The Prophet told us that every day Ya'juj and Ma'juj are trying to dig out. 
And every day when they come very close and they're just about to get out, the person in charge of them says, okay, your shift is over, come back tomorrow. And when they come back tomorrow, they find that the wall has been rebuilt by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then on the very final day, the one in charge of them, whether it's an angel, whether we don't know, the one in charge of them. So there's some being in charge of them. The one in charge of them will say that, uh, that your shift is over and come back tomorrow, inshallah you will dig. And he says, inshallah. So when he says, inshallah, then the next day they will come and lo and behold, the dam has not been rebuilt. It is where they were yesterday. And so they managed to dig themselves out and then they start spreading their facade.